Oh my goodness, look at that. Oh. Is it signed? Oh, please be signed. Okay, well, I am excited to be back in Thurmont, Maryland today, and I am sitting outside the Goodwill. We're gonna head in and see what we can find today to buy and flip for profit. So here we go. Okay, looks like the figurines are about the same as they were the other day. Hmm. <laughs> Cute little boxer is still here. There's a sculpture in the back. It's kind of neat. I don't know. I don't really want it. <laughs> Over here is a gorgeous perfume. Probably made in Egypt. It's three dollars and forty-nine cents. It's probably worth eight to twelve. I don't think that these have a super high resale value. I think I'm gonna leave it. Um, this is broken. That's been here a while. I didn't want you guys to think I was just ignoring it. If you haven't seen a previous video, this is broken. <laughs> There's a seductive angel. There's a little bit of glass. Kind of wonder if that one would glow, but again, I don't have a black light. You know, you guys send me black lights occasionally, and I hook them to my keychain, and then I lose them anyway. So, <laughs> oh gosh. Ooh, does that one have a marking? No, but it has a very shiny bottom, doesn't it? Kind of fancy, but it doesn't have a stopper. I don't think it's any use to me without a stopper. Although I do pick up stoppers from time to time. Arrived baptism. We oh, that's cute. It's like a little baby plate and you fill in all of the things. I looked at that last week. All right. That's kind of pretty. Ooh, it's ceramic. Didn't expect that. I thought it was going to be wood. I kind of like that too, 649, but I mean, that's contemporary. I don't know. I guess I'm being picky today. Today's going to be a picky day. It's hand blown. $3.49. That one is kind of. Nice. Maybe we'll pick that up. The hand-blown vase. You can see the pontal scar on the bottom. So I think I'll stick that in there. That'll be our first piece. There's a fun brass pineapple. Oh my gosh, it's fourteen forty nine. <laughs> oh boy. It's really heavy. It's like solid. Without any markings made in India. I don't know. I guess I could look that up and see how much brass pineapples sell for. I mean, if it's worth more than that and I can make some money on it, I'd be willing to pay up for it. I think it's kind of cool. 1449. We'll look it up. Now you guys know this is my favorite little shelf right here. So we'll browse through here. This thing is wild. What even is this? It's got oh, that's a plate. I guess this is a serving apparatus of some sort. It's a little scary though. I feel like the plate would just tip off and break. Alright, nothing in my favorite area. We're gonna keep going. Oh my gosh. <laughs> well, I wasn't holding the lid on because the lid has a hinge. But the hinge is broken, so. <laughs> 
Normally I hold the lid when I pick things up. But I thought I was safe on this one. I thought I don't need to hold it because it has a hinge. Apparently the hinge is broken. All right, this is really cute, isn't it? I wonder if that has any age to it. 14.49 on that. We let's see. Weiss. Oh, hand painted in Brazil. So it does have. It is vintage. There's a little chip on the butt, but it's just a paint chip. It's not a ceramic chip. It's not a hair. <laughs> it's not a hair or a chip. Sometimes hairs can look like chips. Weiss hand painted. Hmm. You know what? I think she's worth more. In 1449, so I will grab her without even bothering to look her up because I'm feeling pretty confident about that one. As long as uh, she's not damaged. And then this one I feel is contemporary. I'm actually gonna move. Let's see if I can. We're gonna move the pineapple down very carefully because I wanna get a closer look. This one. Um, I don't know. I'm getting like that one's giving me hobbyist vibes. It does have owls on it though. <laughs> well, we've pretty much looked at everything except for the glasses. I saved those for last. I figured I don't really need to look at them, but also I barely have anything in my cart, so we may as well. Um, not much jumping out at me though. Of course I'm looking at the bottom of a bunch of glasses, so <laughs> it's really, really hard for anything to really be like, hey, look at me. Um, that has an interesting bottom. Hmm, there's too many words on that. I don't feel like reading them all. <laughs> I like a vintage CBS mug. It's got the peacock on it. All right. Well, I think that might be it for us, guys. It may be time to move on to the next. Ooh, what is that? Williamsburg. Looks like it. It's a very large tankard. <laughs> $3.49. It does have the Williamsburg mark on the bottom. I usually don't mess with the Williamsburg stuff. Sometimes there's, you know, a little bit of value there, but um, I don't usually mess with those pieces. Personal preference. All right. Um, I did see they have like a, a fresh cart sitting right inside the door over there, but I don't know when or if they have plans on rolling it out. So let's look up the pineapple real quick. And who knows, maybe they'll push it out here for us. I just pulled this off the shelf. I thought that was really neat. I missed that the first time and uh, set that in the cart, but I just hung up with Andrew because, yeah, check that out. Fresh cart, let's check it out. Ooh, I see some hair. There we go, that looks like an underplate though. Oh, that might be an underplate for a flower pot. We'll stick it in there and see if we can come across the flower pot. Let's see what else we can find. She gave us permission to dig through here, which was very nice. This is cool looking. Oh, that's a weird texture. What is that? Pompadour? Really? USA R63? What is that? It's kind of a weird plastic. Looks vintage though. Well, I think that's it. This is really curious. Pompadour. And this, like I said, I think is the bottom of a uh, flower pot. A hex hexagonal flower pot? I might actually have one at the shop, <laughs> oddly enough, so I'll pick that up. Um, but I am gonna look up this guy and see if we can find a comp for that. This is kind of wild to me, um, some of the prices people get for these. <laughs> but it looks like I could probably double my money on it. Honestly, so we will buy it. I will buy it And uh, I think that's it for me today It's pretty, isn't it? Mm -hmm. Can I do 
design on the exterior. Um, just making sure I'm not missing anything. But I kind of got a late start today, so it's probably time to move on to the next Goodwill. We got to see a fresh cart. And uh, those are nice. Kind of sloppy though. I didn't really paint in the lines. So I'm going to leave them. And I'm going to get back to you guys in the car with the total. Okay, well our total spend there at Thermont was $45. And I feel like we did alright. It was kind of an exciting moment when they wheeled out the fresh cart. I didn't think they were going to do that. I'm just like, it's right there behind the door. And then they wheeled it out. And uh, we grabbed a few things, but we are here now at the Monocacy Boulevard Goodwill, which I skipped last week. So I don't know what we're going to find. We don't usually find much. So, so who knows? Maybe today's our day. We're going to head in and see what we can find. Here we go. This place is crazy busy today. What is this? It's a transfer. I like it, but... Mm. I would prefer it to be hand painted. Alright, let's go over and check out the figurines because that's my favorite. Oh my goodness, look at these little guys. <laughs> Those are so cute. $2.50 each. Wowzers. They are cute, but are they that cute? I don't know. <laughs> Somebody's souvenir collection, maybe? Made in Lapan. That's right next to Japan. Last I checked my world map. Pinecone bird. Dollar fifty. Yeah, those are cute for um for whatnot. Vintage doll. Oh my gosh, those creepy dolls. I think those are creepy. What is this? Oh, that's damaged. It's glued back together. Hmm. Carved from wood. This in Cyrillic. I'm not going to be able to read that. Hmm. There's lots of like arts and craftsy things here today. Kind of like it. <laughs> Look at these two cans. Wow, those are heavy. Those are Veltro. Interesting. Never heard of that. No, yeah, Rel maybe Peltro. Weird. This one's kind of neat because it has a little bit of a purple tint to it. Likely because it's sat in a window and it's old enough that it has there's a chemical in old glass that um, when it's exposed to the sun and the UV light, it turns purple. Wow, oh, that's pretty, isn't it? Lots of chipping around the edge. Oh my goodness, look at that. Ooh. Is it signed? Oh, please be signed. Looks like Swarovski. Oh, look at this. It is. It's signed. <laughs> oh my goodness, look at that. I don't know how I almost missed that. I did almost miss it, though. 449, signed Swarovski. Um, I don't see any chips or cracks on that either. Wowzers. Ooh, I'm just going to cradle this in my hand for a few moments. Um, we have some candle work down here. Just looking to make sure I didn't miss anything. I got this Swarovski. That's what matters. Oh, so beautiful. Okay. Now it can go in there. Um, <laughs> what else did I miss? Oh, we should backtrack maybe. No, wait. What do we have? I know. I see you. I was ignoring you because I'm really just not into it. What does it say? Let's see. Oh, it's cold painted, so it's probably going to pull off the paint. Maybe. No, no more things. I mean, it is... It is Pooh Bear. Okay. A9. I think I know this one. I can't remember right off the top of my head though. Shoot. I don't know. I think I'm going to set it back. 
Maybe it's just a hobbyist piece and I'm <laughs> thinking too I'm thinking about it too much. Um, there's some blown glass. 349. Got a piece of blown glass here. My last visit was a few weeks ago. Um, with these with the applied handles, you always have to make sure that the applied handle is applied and not cracked. This one seems to be seems to be good. So we're gonna stick that in there. That's what is that? I don't know what's going on. That might be a <laughs> might be a light a lampshade. There's a mug. Oh, there's some Wedgwood back there. Wedgwood, where's the price? $14.49 for the Wedgwood. I think I'll leave it for that price. And there is the underplate, the under bowl, that goes with that pitcher because it's a wash set. So the pitcher we looked at when we first walked in the door actually goes with this. It sits inside it because it's a decorative wash pitcher and basin. What does that say? Loris? Loris. Loris did a nice job. Actually, what I was coming over here to look at were these because those are fancy. What are those? Those are Continental Bavaria Ivory. Super fancy. They're $2.49 each. Do I want them? Yes. Do I need them? No. I'm trying to avoid buying dishes. <laughs> trying and not succeeding. What are these? Those are not, not fire and light. That'd be crazy. I would die. I'd just fall over and be like, oh my god, it's fire and light. I don't think it is. They're really heavy. They're recycled glass. But I think the texture is off on these. Oops, I just left my cart sitting over there. They're definitely recycled glass. And they're very heavy. Maybe I'll just grab them. I think that's it. Those ones are different. They have a different texture to them. Hmm. I don't really go for the brown. It's not really my thing. But what about the one behind it? Also brown. <laughs> Raku, though. At least it looks like it. Yes, Raku. And it's signed. I will take a piece of Raku almost every day. Any day. Almost any day. So, I'm gonna put this one back up. Alright. Here's a tiki mug. It's the only one. Oh my gosh! If it isn't my favorite piece pattern on the whole planet. And it's a tidbit tray. <gasps> Come with me, little birdies. Fly into my cart. Wait, we should probably check the price first. It's $9.49. But that's okay. I'm going to grab it anyway. <laughs> oh, goodness. All right. Um, let's see if there's anything else here. This is kind of the last aisle here. Um, check these out. Thought maybe those would go with our plates, but they do not. Some, um, whatever that stuff is called, foundations. <laughs> this is vintage 1976. That is a cute vintage tin, but I'm gonna leave it. Coco Platito. $645. I feel like that's maybe pesos. I think that's a coconut. Oh, look at all the bags. That's crazy. The last few times I'm here, there were like no bags. 
What? Do you see that? Tiffany and Company? Really? For real? Tiffany and Company? Lennox? I didn't know that was a thing. Do I want to buy something that says Tiffany and Company? Yes, I do. I don't even know. I think those are like teacups, maybe. I don't know. I'll buy them just because they say Tiffany and Company. I don't want to miss out on that opportunity. <laughs> There's more little shell creatures in this bag. Let's move this one over and get a closer look at those. There's a frog and <laughs> a whole bunch more. Of those little shell guys, those are so cute. I think those make for good um, shipper, shipping reducers in the wet mat sales. So I've been picking these up and just putting them in my little shadow box box, and then I pull them out when it comes time for the wet mat sales, and I load them in as buy it nows, and they reduce shipping on the larger items. So it works out. Okay, we're coming to the end. That one lamp in the center actually looks like a false graph glaze. Maybe, I don't know. No, it's not. Let's stick it back. Stay. Oh my gosh. I had missed something and I actually spotted this from the other side. Look at how cute it is. Oh my gosh, it's been like mangled and glued back together. <laughs> what? Oh my gosh. Well, you can say that it was well loved. Oh my gosh, that is the coolest, isn't it? 349. I don't think I've ever even seen that one before. I'm like, do I buy it? Because I've never seen it before. Probably not. I probably leave it, right? I don't know. It's so cute. I mean, it was a good repair job. I'm gonna do it. I don't know, I guess it's the thing with broken cats. I just can't help myself. It kinda looks like a butt. <laughs> People are total spend what? $95. I'm not sure how that, oh, I don't, I know how it added up so quickly. It was those plates at $3.50 a piece. Those kind of helped it along. Um, and then the vase, of course, was a little bit, I mean, it all added up. Um, but we got some really great stuff. I was so excited for that Swarovski. I knew the way the light hit it. I'm like, it has to be. And then when I started looking for that signature and I spotted it, that was the moment I was like, oh my God. This is amazing. I don't even know how much it's worth, but it's just like, it's one of those things that it's just thrilling to find at Goodwill because you don't usually expect it. Um, so that was, that was exciting. Now I, now I have a high going into the next Goodwill and hopefully it continues throughout the day. Um, but yes, that was, that was fun. Now I want, I just want to put a disclaimer on here that you guys see me pick up these little shell creatures. Those are not something I would typically pick up to sell on eBay. I am picking those up for my whatnot sales because I have learned that when you sell little lightweight things, it helps your buyers to reduce shipping on larger, heavier items. So when I'm out and about and I see something that's cute and lightweight, I will pick it up for that purpose. Um, they don't have high resale value. Um, I wouldn't normally pick it up. If I was exclusively selling on eBay, that is not something I would pick up for resale. So, um, I mean, if I had like a huge grouping of them, maybe that would be worthwhile, but picking them up, selling them one-offs, you know, paying 250 a piece for them, um, it's probably not worth it for eBay. So I just wanna put that out there for you guys. Those are just things that I pick up when I'm out and about for, um, for I call them shipping reducers on whatnot. So, um, I don't want you guys running all out and buying little shell creatures with the expectation that you're going to make a ton of money on eBay. So anyway, I'm going to end the video here. I hope you guys enjoyed that. I feel like, I feel like that was a, a strong ending point. But anyway, I will see all of you tomorrow. So long. I know it's nothing new, but it's
so good to see.